You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. Welcome in. Oh, am I excited? This has been a long journey getting to this point today. Well, at least it's felt like a long journey. And I'm talking about the Polaroid Go. It finally showed up. Now, before I really dive into it, I want to let you guys know that this is not a full in-depth review. Now, I wanted to go live, interact with you guys because you guys have been wanting me to get this basically for a long, long time. When I found out it was leaked online, I said I would get it. And you guys have been hounding me about it. For a long time so when this went up for pre-order i immediately got it and i wanted to do something with it right away just do live unbox it show you what you get and then about a week or so later i am going to release a full in-depth breakdown review comparison whatever it might be right so that is what uh is the plan so if you're expecting a full in-depth review of this today well it's not gonna happen <laughs> it's just an unboxing and just hanging out because i haven't been live here in like a couple weeks probably it seems like so uh, I want to go live and chat with you. There's a bunch of you guys in here. What is up, everybody? Oh my gosh. Ooh, we got Jesse. What's up, Callie? What is up, Ashley? What? Thank you for joining in. Uh, we've got, I cannot ever pronounce your name. I so apologize. Tuco? Tu Tuco? I know I've spelled that, or, or I spelled that. I know I said that wrong. Juan, what is going on? Hello, hello, Mary Ann. Hey, how are you guys doing? I'm good. I'm very good. It finally showed up. The quick backstory is um, it was supposed to be delivered like four days ago, maybe five days ago, and then uh, it just got lost in the mail. I contacted Polaroid and they didn't even respond. Uh, I was very upset. Uh, I almost, you know, kind of gave up hope that this was even going to be uh, showing up. So I went to stores trying to find it just so I can at least get a video out for you guys. Uh, and then uh, with, with no luck, I don't think they've even hit the West Coast until maybe today or yesterday. And, and so today I heard back from Polaroid after this was delivered. This showed up, then Polaroid finally was like, hey, it looks like it was delivered. That's it. I, yeah, anyway, <laughs> there we go. Uh, do, 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 do. What is going on? Click so fast when I got the notification. Fantastic, glad to see you. It's good to see you here. Um, I'm actually going to be down in California this week. Unfortunately, not in the LA area. I'll be down in San Diego. Um, if I remember right, you are in Los Angeles at the moment. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, Robin? What's going on? What's going on? Okay. How about... Oh, wait. What's that? Thanks, Doc. I think that was supposed to be an emoji, but they don't play. But anyway, so thank, en en enough of stalling. How about we unbox this thing? shall we um i have the polaroid now next to it because it's almost like a shrunk down version <laughs> that's why it's here but let's move this out of the way and replace it and see what we got inside this can look how adorable this is i had my mixed doubts feelings about this thing because i don't really like the instax like fuji minis at all um i kind of shoot the Instax square a little bit and it's okay. These are this is smaller than the Instax square But I like the fact that this camera is like almost pocketable It's just really cool and exciting. So let's pop this open I am pumped Soup pumped. I need to move my uh, Comments over here. I have to keep doing this <laughs> So if I don't get your comment right away, I apologize but look at that. Oh, whoo. I can even go closer. There we go. Look at that. Come on. It's already on. Why is it on? Oh, I must have pushed the button. Wow, that is cool. Let's see what else we get. Let's wait. You get a charge cable. Oh, I need to back up really good. There we go. Oh, and you get a wrist strap. I look like a, a from all the promos. It looked like it was like a full-on like, uh, like uh, strap. But I guess it's just like a, a short one. I thought it was a longer one. And then this is pretty cool. A little neat little touch. These stickers that you get. <laughs> Those are really cool. That's awesome. I love that Polaroid's doing that. But one thing I don't love about this is the price. This little guy is the same price as this big guy. Same price. 
That's a little frustrating. <laughs> uh, let's look at some comments. Uh, hey, what's up, Pav? You made it in. Hello, hello. You had to pause your movie. What are you watching? What are you watching? At least you made it in. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, will there be an actual sold in stores on the Florida website? It says it's only available online. I don't know, to be honest. Um, I Well, I have a hunch because this was leaked by Target. Target leaked this on their website back in February, I think it was, March. And so that gives me the idea that maybe they'll be in the stores eventually. Um, but I, I think what they're doing right now is because it got leaked online, they're just keeping it to themselves maybe um i know they're doing that also with the uh the, uh the round the round frames they're not selling this in stores as of right now it's only on their website so i don't know exactly what's going on over there 100 percent, but yeah uh, i think it's only online uh, so many comments so many apologize it is small i'm very excited to shoot with this and i'm going to talk about something that i'm bummed about today uh, and that is the fact that i won't <laughs> i'm going to california uh, like i said this week and i think i'm going to shoot the video for this down there which means i can't shoot any until then because i only got one pack of film like an idiot I, like I, I don't know why i didn't buy two i did buy another one a couple days ago but i haven't got any sort of notification that it's shipped yet so i can't even shoot this until thursday mi minimum sad 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 and i don't think the other ones will be here in time before i leave <laughs> uh, the piece is really holding me back from buying it the price the p okay the, i was gonna say I, I picked up what you're putting down the price i know this is one of the things that i was really hesitant about i was hoping that the, when it leaked online it was uh inaccurate for the price because it's the same price as the polaroid now this is 100 bucks and you can shoot full film size polaroids but there is one really cool aspect of this that i do like and that is this is the first time there's a polaroid camera out there man this is so cool it's like a little binoculars <laughs> um but this is the first time a polaroid camera is out there that is more like tangible if you will more like that's what i'm looking for the average shooter basically can get started with this this is not that expensive for film it's 20 bucks and you get 16 photos it's better than regular full-size polarized you get eight photos for about the same price so that right there is super exciting because the more people that get involved shooting polaroids the more product polaroid is going to put out it's helping the company so you help them help you basically. So I'm very excited about this, even if I don't use it that much, which I, I think I will. I just don't know why, but I really want to shoot with this. It looks so fun. I can't wait. Uh, yeah, actually it so is. I think I skipped one over one of your uh, comments earlier. There it is. Weather has been nice. For, it has. So I have, I have a friend down there that uh, she came up here to visit and um, I guess it's been raining down there, like super overcasty and nasty like last week. Uh, and then I guess now recently it got pretty good. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, order cameras because the cute stickers. I know, isn't, aren't those freaking cool? Look at those. I have a problem with stickers though. I never end up putting them on anything because it feels like it's such a huge commitment. Like I only get one of them. I, I like, I don't want to ruin it. I want to make sure it gets goes on something that's awesome and then i never end up putting stickers on anything <laughs> i'm trying to break that I, I actually developed a sticker this uh, it's over there i can't reach it but it's this logo and i made them which uh, uh which i can get to early, later but i have a, a sticker pack that's available that will fit on the back of your your polaroid cameras like the box cameras that's paco if you can hear him barking i think ups is here I do have another package coming for something. I can't tell. It might be the mailman. Sounds like UPS. Uh, it's not Polaroid related, so it's just uh, something else. But that might be uh, for me. Uh, the proposal. I don't know what that means. Don't know what that means. Yes, Target did leak it. Uh, there he is. What's up, Dave? So, was the one shot you have their packs about the same what do you mean 
So is the one shot you have there packed about? I don't know what you mean, Dave. Don't know what you mean, man. You're not child. Uh, my question is, would 75 be a better price point for this for most people? I, yeah, I think 50 would be the perfect price right here, 50 bucks. Uh, Cause it would price itself right in line with uh, the Instax cameras. Uh, I think Instax are 60 brand new. So 50, 60, right in that range would be the absolute perfect. Um, I just think it would be. That's the only thing that's sucky about this. This is a hundred bucks. Very bummed. Uh, uh, yeah, those stickers are super cute. They are rad. I really like it. Uh, let's pause comments for a second and check this out. So <laughs> it loads differently than a Polaroid camera normally does. So typical Polaroid camera, as you guys probably already know, is that it's opens from the front and then you pop in a film pack. I don't have an empty pack handy, do I? No, I don't. But, and that's it. This one actually kind of loads like an Instax film camera. So right here on the bottom is where it goes. That's new. That's nifty. Oh, whoa. And you can see, you can see the mirror directly right there. Hmm. That could be a problem actually. They had to do that to get this size, but that could, that could be a potential issue because if you don't, if you're not careful, you could scratch that or even break that mirror and then the camera would be uh, not working anymore. Because the way Polaroids work are the, like for instance on this one, you can see it a little bit better. On the back, the light comes in through the side, hits a mirror on the back and then projects that mirror back down. So back down onto the film pack. So, which if you open this up, I mean, you can, you can kind of see inside there, but it'd take a lot to try and mess it up. This one, if you open this out outside and you drop something in there, come on here. Like you could break that mirror <laughs> really easily and dust. That is a dust magnet. It looks like there's a thumbprint on it too. What the heck? There was like something on there, but yeah, that could be problematic. You have to be kind of careful of this. So didn't know about that. That's interesting. Uh, right, 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 right. Stickers, man, I tell you, stickers are always a problem for me. <laughs> Same, I always want to save it for the thing, and then by the time I find a thing, I lose a sticker. Exactly, I have a box. I started putting them in a giant box. That way, if I ever do want to use stickers, then I you can easily go and grab them, but I don't ever use them. <laughs> They're just in boxes. I need to, I have started to get better. I've stuck a few on a couple of things, but I still have a massive struggle. <laughs> Computer, no, it did this yesterday. It did that yesterday during a live stream. It glitched out a couple of times, so sorry about that. Um, I hope it's on my computer because I was going to live stream on another channel and it did that twice during the show. Hopefully it doesn't do that again. Uh, I was sending somebody's comment. This one. Okay. Kevin, I feel that uh, would be a better price. I would pay a hundred for it if it included film as well. Yeah. So this was $120 with the starter pack. Uh, the film packs are, are going to be, uh, uh, here we go. Film packs are going to be 20 bucks for 16 photos, which is a great entry point into instant photography. I think uh, it's just the initial cost of getting this little sandwich camera. But the field of view through this is quite nice. You can, it's not like you're squinting too much. They did a really good job. And supposedly, holy crap, it does. It actually has a somewhat of a selfie mirror uh, right in the lens. It's like a two-way mirror or one-way mirror, actually. Uh, let's see if you can see that on camera. So you can see my uh, light I have up here. Normally, you'd see just a glare, but now you actually kind of see a direct reflection. So that guy has a selfie mirror. Oh, there I am. Hi. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. But I, I, I wish it was a little bit cheaper. Or if it did, even if it was like a dummy camera where it was like no batteries required, that would be even cooler. Uh, oh yeah. Stickers just give me anxiety. It really does. It's kind of a full commitment for sure. 
Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, so everyone I know that has a Hydro Flask, that's exactly what they do with them. Um, yeah, uh, I've had roommates that have lived here, and they had like four Hydro Flasks just to put stickers on. <laughs> so I'm with you. I am with you. Oh, the movie. The movie you're watching, The Proposal. Is that the one with um, uh, 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 Ryan Reynolds and Sandra Bullock? If that, if that's what I'm thinking of. That one's pretty funny. I like that movie. <laughs> Uh, that big ca camera on the desk, uh, when you got it, was it packed the same as the Go? When you oh, oh, good question. So no, I actually, I didn't buy this new. Um, I bought this second hand off of Craigslist. No, uh, offer up. Got it off offer up. So I don't know how it was boxed. It came just like this. Nothing else was included. So I don't use it often. I still need to make a video about it though. Um, I was kind of waiting for the year mark and it is it's an anniversary of this camera it's been out for one year as of last month i think so i need to do that i've used it quite a bit but i haven't used it in a while i need to do that was that a smudge on the mirror in there yeah i think it was so i kind of have to see about cleaning it it won't it won't affect the images um i mean you could stick a thumbprint right on it and it just wouldn't really affect it too much. It's too close for it to be focused. But uh, still, that's kind of frustrating. A little bit frustrating. Exactly. Everyone's saying that's about the mirror. Mm, the access to the mirror could be helpful. My SX-70 mirror is dusty and I wish I could reach it to clean it. Yeah, it, totally. However, you would have to clean it way more often this way. <laughs> Imagine if your SX-70 camera had it just right when you popped open the door in the front and you're presented with a mirror right there, right out of the gate. The fingers are gonna touch it, dust is gonna get in there. If you're outside maybe and it's slightly raining maybe, it, it could instantly get wet and you have to like, just that, it's just not good, it's not good. Don't like that. But I won't know really until I fully do the review of this thing to know for a fact how uh dangerous or sucky it is this is just first thoughts first impressions 120 it sells for 180 is that your that's euros right uh which is even yeah gosh that's horrible it's weird because you aren't you're close to the netherlands aren't you um aren't you yeah pretty sure and so it's weird i wonder why it's different like that i know you guys got these way before we did that's, yeah Yes, yeah, Sandra, I did that one. Okay. <laughs> That's a funny movie. I uh, really like that one. It is a good one. So there really wasn't anything else that came with this. Uh, I thought this was going to be the neck strap. I'm actually kind of bummed it wasn't. It makes sense because it's a small camera. But I am super bummed that I can't go out and just start shooting this right now. I mean, I probably could just shoot one pack. But then once I go on the trip, I'm, I'm going to bring this and then just shoot eight photos on the trip. That's it. Cause I probably won't be able to find film. I, I, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go out today, hit some stores and see if I can find another pack, another pack. I ordered an, um, another one, like I said, a couple days ago, but I don't think it'll be here in time. Uh, especially how long it took this one to freaking show up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't think, I don't think I can shoot with this yet. It's so frustrating, but it looks so fun. Um, I know it has some cool features. I don't know 100% of it yet. I think it has a timer and a double exposure mode. That might be it. But just look how adorable this is. This is going to get people into Polaroid. I just know it. Because cost is a lot cheaper and it'll help out Polaroid uh, a lot. And then hopefully that will lead to maybe some more higher end cameras. Because all they've been putting out for the last few years is just reiterations basically very few um advancements in their cameras uh they haven't put out like like a, like a what would it be called like a professional one and since the introduction of polaroid camera actually technically uh they put out some from the 70s and the 80s and then the, briefly in the 90s they put out a camera like an slr folding camera and then after that they just went boxy but they still just put out like a spectra cameras that like that close-up one that i did um and they did experiment and get weird, but there really hasn't been anything. Actually, there hasn't been anything since Polaroid went bankrupt and then was bought out by um, Impossible Project and then then re-changed names back to Polaroid. It's kind of a murky area. 
but they've just been kind of focused on getting product out there and i totally understand what what, what they're doing but I, I think it's time it's now time this right here is a good sign that they're going to experiment and try and put out some more interesting edgy things i'm pretty excited very very excited oh yeah okay cool oh it is it is pounds not euros it's pounds not even close not even close uh, this won't be instant mini ever. It won't beat it. What do you, uh, well, as far as what, like sales, popularity, things like that. If that's what you're meaning, um, I would agree to a point, um, because it, just, just for the fact that it's been out there for so long, um, and people are, are accustomed to it. People don't really change <laughs> once they get their minds made up. They just especially the casual shooters uh this is really great for people just starting they have a new lineup and polaroid people call fuji insects polaroid i mean when i was first starting it i just associated any sort of instant photography camera as a polaroid picture it's just what it is and so polaroid's playing catch up with their own brand essentially and so i think people just getting started and having something that's somewhat affordable this is a little, little expensive for the price for this camera but the film, that, that's where it'll get you. The cost of shooting it is a lot cheaper than any other Polaroid camera out there on the market as of right now. So it, it's exciting for that front. And uh, yeah, it's not necessarily gonna beat out Instax anytime soon. That is for sure, I agree. Uh, the images, yeah, no, I agree. But also that classic phrase, you know, the, the best camera you have is the one with you. This thing will fit in your pocket, most pockets. I mean, I could probably put it in my mouth. Oh, well, I'm not gonna shove it in there, but I could probably could. It, that's that's also a great selling point and a great marketing feature. You can put it in your pocket and carry it with you. Instax camera is a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger. And when you, a lot of people do this, I do this. You scan these in, because this is the size of the picture right here. Uh, right here. This is actual size of the photo. Here's my hand. Here's the camera. That's the actual size. It's not that, it's not like, it's small. It's definitely small. I'm not denying that, it's definitely small. However, if you scan that into a computer, you cannot tell the size difference. And a lot of people will do that to post on Instagram or social media, you cannot tell. And even when you scan it and blow it up, like I did like right here, like in my book, you can't tell. This could be, this This picture could be from this camera. You would not be able to tell the size of it. So that's a good uh, angle to, to take if considering this, if, if that's what you do. If, if you're only, you know, uh, using instant photography to post digitally, this is a great option. It's a lot cheaper, super cheap. Um, where does the neck strap attach? Right here in the corner. I dare. Eh. Uh, is full auto prints are smaller than the Mini 90? Film is more expensive than Mini 2. Fail. Mm, uh, it's only what? You get two less photos. Well, you get three le four less photos. You get four less photos. But I was thinking of the single packs. Uh, you get four less photos for the same price. I'll give you that for sure. But it's a lot. It's way more exciting to see this because of it's for the future. You know, like, it, like what is going to come down the line for people that love polaroid i highly recommend if you like polaroid just support the, this at least because then you never know something coming down the line but all the other reasons i just gave you this one is i don't know kind of like it i don't like the mini uh insects film mini i just don't like the format this the vertical stuff i like square a little bit better and wide uh so this is great for me but it's not everyone's cup of tea for sure fingers crossed for polaroid wide oh that'd be so cool if they brought back like spectra they won't bring back spectra let's say but they could bring back like a mini like a mini uh wide or something like that that'd be pretty cool that'd be unique that'd be the only style on the market that'd be really cool uh, how long did the camera take to come a long time it was supposed to be delivered on the 28th of april and didn't show up till today it got lost in the mail apparently i don't know but here it is it took a while i was very bummed uh, Rico, the camera is also much more portable. Uh, that could be a deal breaker. Ex exactly. I wish I brought my uh, Insex. It's over there. My Insex mini camera or even a square camera. They're huge. 
<laughs> they're really big cameras. And so if you're just going out to a party, uh, I know if uh, you're carrying like a, like a, like, what do you call it? Like a, like a, I want to say purse, like a satchel or a bag of some kind. This thing will fit in there like so easy. An Instax camera is really large and it's just going to take up a lot of room. So like just casually going out, this is where it fits. That's what it's for. It's not really for like high end professional stuff that people like to do with, with, with like instant photography. It can be, but it is preference. It really comes down to your own personal preference. Wish I bought Spectre film before this continued it and the price stuck skyrocketed. Yeah, but also they were having issues with the film anyway. That's not ejecting right because uh, their film got thicker. And so the older Polaroid uh, Spectre cameras were having issues like ejecting them. Even on, if you saw my macro, uh, Polaroid macro camera review, the uh, it wouldn't come out right like, like easily. I'd like bang on it to get it to like try and come out uh and so they just discontinued it pretty much just for that purpose um so that, that's what happened there short version i should say uh it would be very cool to fit in a small handbag exactly my old nsx mini still felt like it took up a lot of room in my bag yeah totally like seriously you could just literally walk around with this as a freaking uh bracelet <laughs> it wouldn't even matter it's, it's small and I'd much rather have a camera with me than not. Like, like look, look at this thing. If you're going out just casually shooting with your friends, going to a party, which one are you going to bring? <laughs> you know? I mean, me, I've been bringing this, and it's been, like, such a hassle. <laughs> such a hassle. This thing, oh, so cool. Love it. I think this was a nice Wii addition to my collection. Yeah, definitely. This just looks cool like on a shelf. Um, it, I'm going to be displaying this in the meantime when I'm not using it just to have it on a shelf. It looks so cool. Um, I'm not going to lie. If they put out like another version of this, like a different color or something, I probably am going to buy it. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Don't hold me to that, but I might. I might. Uh, Robin Insects Mini 90 is super tiny. Yeah, the Mini 90 is the... Uh, eh, it's, not, it's not smaller than this, though. Definitely not smaller than this. And it's a different format. It's vertical. I mean, if you like the vertical stuff, that's fine. Um, but this is square and there's nothing, there's literally no other format like this other than the Instax square, but this is, you know, smaller. Again, preference. Uh, Instax Mini 11 is way bigger than a Mini 90. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is very true. I well, I had mixed feelings about it when I uh, first saw it because I don't shoot the minis. I phased that out. I, I, now that I said that though, I did buy some uh, recently to expired stuff because I'm going to be doing a uh, expired film series, so I want to include some of that. And so uh, I did buy some, but I don't shoot that hardly ever, unless unless I'm out with my uh, my family, like it. Uh, um, like at yeah, like birthday parties and things like that. Like I'll bring an insects mini camera and just give it to my little nephew, and he just runs around and just shoots photos, and he freaking loves it. So this one though might be the new one I hand him to run around and shoot because this will fit his hands perfectly. This is a little wee little guy. <laughs> so uh, that's another thing you can take into account. Maybe it's for the you know, a younger uh, audience or generation. Give it to your kids. Yeah, it's a hundred bucks. There's a hundred dollars, but handing them the film isn't as expensive as handing them a regular pack of Polaroid film. This is 20 bucks. This is 20 bucks. You get eight photos, you get 16. So as a parent, I'm not one, but if you are, this is probably the option you're going to give your kids. If you buy one of these cameras, there's a lot of th factors that take into account. So that's just another angle. And I like angles. They're fun. You need it. We'll go get it. Uh, expired film series sounds awesome. Thank you, Callie. Yeah, it's something that I've mentioned, and a lot of people have definitely wanted to. I've done an, uh, an episode, uh, an episode, a, a episode of my Halloween special last year. It was a four-part series I did uh, last uh, last year, all Stranger Things themed, um, and I did one episode on expired film and people really liked it and want to see some more of it. So uh, I'm going to be doing it across uh, formats. So it'll be some Polaroid stuff, some Fuji stuff, 
Um, and yeah, seeing which ones hold up the best and how to store it, other cool tips and tricks. So uh, I, that one I have to really sit down, plan out and shoot. Uh, so it's not gonna be out for a while because uh, I want to make sure I really lock it in. I might even cover or throw in some FP100 stuff if you guys know what that is. Uh, but um, so keep an eye out for that. But I can't wait. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I don't use my Neo 90 as often anymore. I reach for the Insect Square and SX70 Polaroid. Exactly. Um, my recent shooters of choice. Um, if you watch today's video, because actually I had a video come out today, uh, what's in my bag. Uh, <laughs> so I have two videos today. Uh, that's never, I don't think that's ever happened before. I try not to release two or more content like in one day. It's usually just one day. But um, I'm, I head out with a Polaroid uh, sonar uh, converted to 600 as well as a uh, insects wide. Those are my two go-to cameras. And then I'll mix it up with the square uh, instax. And then of course, I always have a Polaroid with me always have a Polaroid. I never leave a house without a Polaroid. Um, yeah. Oh, I can actually show this. I mentioned this in the video today and I, and I, for, I was, I'm bummed I didn't include it. So I'll show you right now. I hope it's in this stack. Watch it not be. It's not, I don't think it's in here. Oh, man. I talk about like, I, I, cause I always bring a camera with me when I head out and shoot the sign here, the bummer. Uh, so I always bring it, I, I rarely end up getting a chance to actually shoot it, but I do bring a camera with me uh, all the time. <laughs> hey, uh, Callie, if you're still in here, this one's for you. <laughs> there you are. But I always, I always bring them with me to, uh, no matter what I'm doing. And so I went to the grocery store and I had my camera with me and it was this awesome, really awesome, uh, uh, motorcycle. I like motorcycles. I have one. Uh, and it was this really cool, like vintage. It was, I think it was a Kawasaki. Um, just so cool. The design of it. And so I was like, I had my camera with me. So I popped some shots. So I always have a camera with me when I leave the house. And I think those pictures are actually downstairs. Cause I'm also working on a video coming up on how to store photos. Uh, I'm trying to find, I've, I've bought a lot of stuff recently. Well, last few months on organizing things like what's the best method. I think I found something super cheap and effective. So be on the lookout for that too. Uh, also Instax wide is amazing. It is. I, I love Instax wide. Um, and every day I'm hovering over that buy button to get the RF 70. It's right there. I'm like, oh, we need to buy this, but I haven't yet. But I will one day. I'm very, just, it's, a, it's a hard pill to swallow the price tag of that thing. Also, Hack Week sounds dope. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's coming, it's coming. Uh, it won't be out for, like I said, a little while, but you know, keep your eyes peeled. Um, probably in a month or so, maybe, tentatively. Um, I really want to sit down and make it like a five part series. Yeah, like a full week. Uh, and then after that, I have another series planned. It's called Hack Week. And so it'll be an episode a day about an, an instant photography hack. Now, I've got some good ones. I've mentioned some of them before and you guys were like, how'd you do that? Uh, and so I will be sharing that. Like one of them is shooting Instax, not Instax, sorry, shooting iType and 600 cameras without removing the film and putting it into a new cartridge. I have a hack for that. Yes, you are the six. Yeah, seriously, the signature look for sure. Uh, Story photos is what always stumped me. Yeah, no, me too. I have piles and piles of photos. Um, what I have done and I'm going to continue to do every single year is, um, so New Year's Eve last year, I did a live stream. And I took all of my year's photo from that year and, and we hung out and I was putting them in like the best of photos and put them in an album. And then I slapped the 2020 on it and it now goes on the shelf. And I have all these extra ones there that are still good, but I don't know what to do with it. So then this year, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I still have all these photos. So I have a s easy system, super simple, super cheap system to put them in, uh, well, I'll save it. <laughs> um, and uh, that'll be coming soon. So be on the lookout for that. But I have not found, uh, yeah, see, same. It's still, like, it's still a daily struggle for me to find a, a, an excellent system for photos. Um, but the one system that I'm working on is pretty much just for um, Polaroid. Um, the, 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 all the other ones, 
ironically being more popular they don't have hardly anything out there to store them so like instax y square and minis there's hardly anything out there like books to put them in like albums and things you kind of have to get creative and to be able to do that so that's frustrating and i want to find a way to do it i've literally bought in stacks and stacks of albums to try and find a neat system and struggling and struggling with it um but polaroid i think i found something awesome but polaroid even makes an, a really nice album and it's actually right here i'll show you i'm sure you've seen it before on their website but if you get a chance to buy one of these because they sell out immediately uh they have an epic album uh you just just highly highly recommend so just super cool these are ones i've shot this year so far but yeah, they have a great layout. So I can't, hide, and they're not even that expensive. These are like 20 bucks when you can actually get them. They sell out so fast. Hey, look, it's Callie again. If you, so guys, if you don't know who Callie is, uh, we work together. <laughs> That's why there's photos of her. Um, we work for the same company. So I'm usually around her and I pop them off. Hey, here's my nephew. The guy, I always, he loves shooting instant photography. Uh, there he is. There's a the little guy. <laughs> But, oh, wrong button. But yeah, so I highly, highly recommend, I saw I got more to fill up in here. But yeah, I highly recommend these if you can get them. Super cheap. I got three of them luckily last year uh, and I'm gonna have to make some more purchases. But this is, the Polaroid is about the only one that has a great system. Uh, Fuji is failing on that front. They don't have a good system for uh, albums that I know of, if you know something, please let me know, because I am dying to find a great system. <laughs> like, oh, wrong button, sorry. I bumped the button. <laughs> there we go. Uh, the amount of times I have changed photo stores, <laughs> seriously, seriously, yeah, I'm with you. I've changed it multiple times multiple but not still not amazing a friend of mine 3d printed a sick polaroid storage box i don't know that too many photos are super helpful from traveling probably not but here's here's some insider information my microphone's right here insider information i haven't announced this yet but i'm working with a guy um on some film photography products uh some kickstarter uh thing um but also have been in the works on the back burner, mainly, mainly convincing, but I don't have to. I don't think I have to convince them that much. Uh, we already had some talks about it, but uh, providing you guys a product for storing uh, the uh, Polaroid photos, and also I have a neat product idea that um, for when you're out shooting photos, you have a little box, and so when you're shooting your shots, you can just throw this in, in this little like design box with the what's uh, with like a. Like a weather seal on top and this goes inside uh to store it where you're out shooting so that, that and you can mount to like your backpack or like your camera strap or something like that uh and he, he has like this awesome laser cutter uh and other cool things so that's a that's just like a super preliminary secret project i'm working on but something like that is coming just be on the lookout for it <laughs> I love to find a four one page for Instax Square. I would too. I would too. Seriously, um, anything. Heck, I even take an Instax one. They have like a tiny, tiny one, like one pagers. You know, like those are crap. <laughs> Come on, guys, get with the program. Makes make it. They're, they just don't. They don't really care. But even though they're like the at the top, if you want to call them that, for inst for instant photography, I guess they're at the top. Just based on the amount that they sell each year. Holy crap. I love the puppet. Yeah, where is he? He's right there. That's Astro. Uh, if you guys also don't know, um, I'll mention this now. I just launched a Discord. Um, uh, there's a link in the description below too. And so Astro is uh, the bot in there. So you know you can talk to him if you want. Um, but yeah, I just launched the Discord. I revamped it today a little bit. Still getting it, all the kinks worked out. But if you want to join in on conversations, share your photos and other things. Uh, check the link in the description below. And you also can stay up to date of what's going on in the world of whatever the heck I'm doing. <laughs> I got some fun projects there uh, 
coming and also currently working on that I'm sharing uh, in there uh, with uh, those fine people. So there you go. Uh, my aunt used to get her insects albums from Amazon and Etsy. Yeah, but are there any good ones though? Like, uh, like, do you have any good recommendations for them? Because the ones I have found, they are, they're just not really that great at, or they're really, really expensive as well. Um, I want to find a good one that has like four per page. That is what, that's, that's a great, great thing. Or more, maybe even th six per page. I don't know, let's go crazy. <laughs> you love that idea? You're talking about the little box thing? He approached me for this thing. I guess I could talk about it. He doesn't seem to care. Um, but if you develop your own film, this thing's going to blow your mind. I was over at his place. He wanted, he wanted to hire me to do... I'll, I'll, I'll just back up to the beginning of how we met. Um, I'm working on a video on uh, FP100, uh, Peel Apart Film. And uh, I was able to pick up three boxes of the stuff. But I didn't have a camera. Bought a camera from a guy. Didn't end up working. But turns out we ended up connecting. And uh, he is a subject in... I guess, subject? That's seems weird he's in a documentary I'm making that's coming out he's a really interesting fellow uh, and so I, I shot that already so then I reached out to, to my fine people of friends on Facebook got connected to this guy his name is Jeff he sold me one that's he has many uh, and it, it works totally fine but in all of that he wanted me to shoot him a Kickstarter video for a product he had he does a lot of um, uh, his own uh, like unique film uh, sizes for like his own developing, if that makes sense. Probably butchering this drastically, but it's, you know those Pat Patterson tubes. Patterson, I think that's what they're called. But you develop your film inside it. You have to like you know shake it around. He designs his own spools depending on the size of film that you are wanting to shoot and develop. So we we're going to shoot that, and then he pulls out this uh, automation like titration system that he has. You just stick it on top of it and you push one button and then you can walk away and it will spin your film and develop it for you without having to constantly like set it down and then shake it and you know it, agitate it with a little spinning thing manually for a few minutes. Yeah, I'm like, what is, dude, put this out. And so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, and we we're supposed to have shot a couple days ago, but I guess he's working on uh, getting some studio space for it and uh, wanted to shoot it like really, really high end, which is fine. He wants it to look good, and so we'll be doing that, um, I don't know when, soon. I, I gave him a call earlier, but he, I guess he's busy. But So that's coming. So while in the works of talking about that stuff, I'd mentioned maybe some instant photography related products, and he seemed like, yeah, that'd be fine. Um, I wanted to design like an acrylic um, box system to drop your photos into. My wheels are turning, so be on the lookout for that stuff. This is the stuff I'll be sharing a lot more in Discord too. So if you definitely want to stay up to date on that, and if you want to see behind the scenes videos of going and designing some of this stuff, um, I'll be posting that over on Patreon. So there's there's a link for that in the description as well. Do I have a button for it? I do. Look at that. I got a graphic. There is a graphic. If you're interested in checking that out, um, and I also just launched the Print Club over there too. So if you want to get a monthly print. You can do that. <laughs>
I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding around. But insects, uh, square would fit, minis would fit. I wonder if you could probably fit two of those. In. Nah, you probably only get one. It would just take up, it would just have a lot of empty space, basically. Um, no rolls, no rolls in Discord server. I don't. I mean, I'm still building it, so, and there's no need to have rolls at the moment. And actually, there is a roll. Um, I've assigned one person, <laughs> so that's not actually true. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so that is that, uh, you guys. I think that's uh, that's all I got for you today. I think. Um, oh no, that's not true. I got one more thing. I got one more thing. So the books, the status of my book, uh, they're all here. They're all done. They're all ready to go out the door and I'm shipping them today. So if you had ordered one, they are going out today. Um, what time is it? Yeah, they'll go out today. They'll at least, at least, get, at least be packed up and ready to go today. It might not get dropped off till tomorrow. But uh, I actually was able to order a few extra of the paperback versions um, because of bulk volume discounts. So I'm gonna be giving one of these away um, in the coming weeks, because I'm going to do a live stream, like book reading of this, uh, just kind of going through it, talking about it and all that good stuff. So if you had one and had and you read it, gone through it and had questions and want to interact, that's, you know, the whole point of it. Uh, so that, uh, you can do that. There's gonna be a live stream of it coming up, but I also, I'm going to give one away during that stream. And, uh, I do have about three, I think three or four extras that, uh, I'll probably just throw up on the websites, um, soon today i'll probably throw them on the website today if you still want to get a paperback version they won't have the cool inserts uh, i only, i ordered you know made to order situation so i don't have any of those but i will sign them and i think if i have any i'll throw in the uh this month or april's uh print month uh, <laughs> print club uh, exclusive uh in here as well if I have extras. I'm pretty sure I have a couple. So if you want one, there'll be a uh, check. Keep an eye out on the store. I'll probably make a post in Discord uh, as well. So, and yeah, so if you want one, there's still a chance to get one. And yeah, so that's it. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm going to be hitting the road Thursday till about Sunday, it sounds like. Uh, still got to lock in the details of some stuff. Um, but I'm going to be shooting this while I'm down there. Uh, I really wish I could shoot right now. I want to go out right now. But we'll see. Maybe I'll check. Tra I'll see if I get notification of when the next pack of film is going to be shot. Otherwise, I'm going to go to Target after this and see if they happen to got a shipment or not you know what i'm saying so if they did then i'm going to be shooting this right away but either way be on the lookout for some fun things coming i got so much in the works i'm excited so you guys thanks for hanging out i really appreciate you guys coming along the journey it means a lot the channel's grown a lot pretty much just because of this dumb thing not that this is dumb actually i really like this but i did that one video and uh, it really sparked a lot of people's interest in subscribing to the channel and watching my content because of it so thank you guys so much for coming along this journey there's no end in sight uh for fun content i just released a video today so you guys i really appreciate you so thank you so much for watching if you want to reach out to me please do anytime from all of the platforms anywhere you want instagram everything discord there's links in the description below to find me so thank you and i'll see you in the next video now get out there make some art if i can find the button bye